previously on, Rex's Redemption. I don't understand Ryan. Why does this guy want to kill me? We believe Mr. Geometry has a personal grudge against you, but the reason is currently unknown. I think I know who would. Kill Ren. Oh shit, he found us. He was going out of his way to get Rex, and all of a sudden, he heard a ringtone on his phone and walked away. Every time we have anybody go after us, they will not stop until they either kill us or capture us or something. This is unusual. He may be gone for a time being, but we cannot let our guard down. We need to quarantine you from him. I can't just stay in the base forever Ryan. My dad will worry about me. I, I can't stay here. Rex, don't. I'm sorry Ryan, but I have a lot of things in my mind right now. We should follow him Ryan. I will have one of our spies act as a guardian angel, so to speak. His name is Rex Matthews. He's an abomination on this planet that needs to be eliminated once and for all. This should be very easy for you to do, considering you have a gift some consider to be unnatural. Take him down with whatever you got. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Okay, it's time to head out, Killerin. Warning! This video contains some mild language that may not be suitable for all audiences. If this kind of content is too inappropriate for you, leave the video now. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you, and have a great day. And then he said, wait, what? What Neptune missions? Ha 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 this is about as funny as that one time Nelson told me a joke about Uranus. You know Rex, I will have to admit, I like your jokes a lot more now than ever before. Oh, here you guys are kissing again. Since when did you guys get together? We've been together for about a couple of months now. Samir is the sweetest guy I have ever met in my whole life. Out of all the girls that picked on me at school over the years, Haley is the one that comforts me every time I have a bad day. Hey, what about me? I do the same for you. Of course I won't forget about you, Riley. But Haley, she's something special. She makes my day bright like the sun. Alright, see you guys later. Now I'm going to wait training, I look forward to that. Alright Haley. I will see you at my house after school. Okay Rex. I will see you guys later. Okay Mr. Geometry. I have arrived at the school Rex goes to. Good. Okay Killeren, remember, I don't want anyone to see you kill Rex. I want you to kill him in a place that is private, where there are no witnesses around. Make it quick, and make sure nothing gets traced back to you. Don't worry Mr. Geometry. I will not fail. Good. Okay Killeren, I have to go. Let me know when you have successfully taken him down. Yes Mr. Geometry. It will be done. Okay, now I see him exiting the cafeteria with his friends now. Supreme Leader. Supreme Leader. Unit 99, what's going on? I believe I have identified Mr. Geometry. It's Killeren. Killeren? Holy shit. Rex was right the whole time. I want you to go and find out where he's going, but remember, don't get too close. Yes, Supreme Leader. HMMMMMMM. It has been two weeks since I felt that aura. I really need to know what it is. This aura might help unlock the secrets of life, and idling around is not going to speed up the process. I need to perform a ritual, and perhaps it will reveal the location of this aura to me.
Hello James, what brings you here to my house? Scott, I need your help with something that is crucial to life itself. Of course James, anything that you need. Come, let's go to my house. Yes James. Aren't we going to need your son to help us with this ritual? No need Scott, this ritual is easy to accomplish. Now, let's go ahead and close our eyes and meditate. Yes James. Wait. Okay, I feel him now. You feel the aura, James? Do you feel its location? Let's see. Okay, his aura is clear to me now. It's a young teenage boy, and he is in what looks like a school. Yes, not only do I see him, but I see where he is. I can see it all, the walls, other students, teachers, lockers, books, and many more. Do you know where this school is, James? Hum, let's see. Yes, I see where it is now. This is not in our town Plotagon City, this is in Plotopolis. Wait, what is this? What's wrong James? This boy? It feels like he's being followed by someone or something. Wait, this is not good. What? What's not good James? He's... He's... He's being followed by some sort of dark entity. This dark entity is full of corruption, and he has a motivation, and... Scott, this is very bad. This dark entity is following this boy, and his intent is to kill him. We cannot let this happen for the sake of our universe. We need to go to this school right now and stop this individual. Okay James, let's go. Hello class, and welcome back to school. It is nice to see you all again. I'm sure all of you enjoyed your winter break. Let's start this great semester with learning about quadrilaterals. Yes! I look forward to learning about quadrilaterals. Geometry is my favorite subject in school. Now, what are quadrilaterals? Well, quadrilaterals are four-sided shapes that contain four corners or vertices. I will show you images of different kinds of quadrilaterals and they will ask one of you what they have in common. Okay, let's get started. Who are you? What are you doing here in this school? That is none of your business. Huh, what? Z, 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 z. Does anybody have any questions so far? Yes, Rex? This is not part of the subject, but may I please use the bathroom? Yeah, of course, Rex. Go ahead. Be back in five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Hernandez. Okay, we're almost there. Take a right. Okay, James. Okay, now. The school should be right. Here. This is the place, Scott. I will stay here, James. And good luck to you, my friend. Thank you, Scott. May the spirits watch over us. No, it can't be.
I should have known it was you, Kilrin. Hey! Shut up. Hey! Help! Somebody help me! It's the aura, and that dark entity. I must hurry. Nobody can save you this time. It's time to kill you once and for all. Hey! Who are you? You must stop what you are doing, evildoer. Oh yeah, what are you going to do about it? Wait, what? What's going on? Oh. My. God. You, you saved my life. Thank you so much. You are most welcome, my good friend. My name is James. I am the clergy of the Church of Enlightenment. We study self-enlightenment and spirituality. Did that magic trick you did on Mr. Geometry have to do with what you study? Definitely, my good friend. I would not call it magic. What I did was well earned from respecting what life was truly created for. I am holy with our spirits and free from corruption. What is your name my good friend? My name is Rex. I got a question, what were you doing in our school? This person that tried to attack you recently, I felt both of your auras. Because of my strong connection with spirituality itself, it gives me access to certain gifts anybody would deem impossible. This individual, he is very corrupted, and has no chance of returning to the light. He is only doing the things he does for his own selfish reasons. Your aura, however, was something unlike any other I have ever felt in my entire life on this beautiful planet. I can see that you're a conflicted individual. Someone that has lost a loved one all those years ago, and cannot cope with the loss due to the strong love you have for this person. Holy crap, my mom? Yes, I am referring to your mother. Your mother meant something to you. After that tragic loss you had to endure, you did not know how to process the concept of death at the time, and the natural reactions you had were of sadness and anger. For most individuals, anger is the easiest emotion that flows naturally. For many years, you have tried time and time again to cope with the death of your mother, but it was proven difficult, and any time bad things happen to you personally, you only lash out to others and never blame yourself. I can feel your intent is good, even if you act in anger. All of the times of you being angry brings nothing to your life but punishments and self-regret. I would not call you a corrupted individual, but someone who needs true closure to the passing of your mother, and this is something you want more than anything in the world. Everything you say about me and my mom are true. I miss her very very much, and I wish she did not die on Christmas many years ago. I would like to propose something to you if you do not mind. I would like for you to come over to my house tomorrow when school is finished, and perhaps I can help you give your mother a proper closure, and to also have you be part of self-enlightenment and spirituality, if that is something you want to do my good friend. You know what? Why not? I feel like I have been treating people badly, especially my dad, for too long, and I want an end to all of that and be the best person I can possibly be. Here my friend. Take this. This shows my address and my phone number. I will see you tomorrow my good friend. You have yourself a happy, healthy, and a safe day Rex. Rex, what is taking you so long? You were supposed to only take five minutes. Oh. My. God. Rex. Dad? Are you okay Rex? Are you hurt? I'm okay Dad. What happened? It was Killer Run Dad. 
He came to my school and force choked me. Wait, what? Killer Red? At your school? Yeah. I think he wants to get revenge on me. Oh. My. God. Get moving, buddy. Okay, okay. I'm going. This time, you will be put in a cell where you have no chance of escaping. Okay, Supreme Leader, I see him in the police car now. Should I go and make the shot? Not in a crime scene. We don't need unwanted attention. Continue to monitor Rex, and if you see Killer Ren again, then you can go ahead and make the shot. Sir, yes, sir, Supreme Leader. All right, let's go to the station. Okay. Come on, Rex. Let's take you home. Okay, Dad. Peace be with you, Rex Matthews. See you tomorrow. <laughs>